All right, so today we're going to look at another topic in chemistry, introducing kind of a, a base level idea that we're going to use for the rest of the semester and probably the rest of your career as a scientist or anything, and that's dimensional analysis. Now, dimensional analysis really simply is just simply the idea of converting between different units, whether you're going to convert from units of your your weight in pounds to kilograms, uh, your speed in miles per hour to meters per second. There's different units that we're going to use, and there's going to be different ways that we convert between those units. Now, that's all dimensional analysis is. Now, in order for us to do dimensional analysis, we're going to use a couple of different bits of information. The first of those is what we call inequality. Now, inequality is just simply saying, if I had, for example, one pound of a substance, how many grams would that be? Well, that would be 453.6 grams. So this is just saying we have equal amounts in different units. Now, we don't usually use equalities to convert between one unit to the next. What we typically use is a conversion factor. Now, a conversion factor utilizes an equality to create some ratios. So from this uh, equality, we can create two conversion factors. One of those is one pound is 453.6 grams. So we're using the equality and we've just simply set up a ratio. Now the other ratio is just the inverse of that, where we have 453.6 grams is one pound. So now we have the ability to convert from grams to pounds or pounds to grams based on those different conversion factors. Now let's go ahead and look at an example of how we would apply this. Okay, So let's say we have six cans of soda and what we want to find out is how many pounds of sugar is comprised in those six cans of soda. Now we're going to need one more piece of information and we need to know that one can of soda has 39.4 grams of sugar. Okay, so we have an equality here. We have our quality we originally started with and we're going to go from our six cans of soda and find out how many pounds of sugar is in that. So we're going to start with our known, which is are six cans of soda, and we want to convert all the way over here to pounds of sugar. Well, the first conversion factor we're going to use is from our equality here, where we can say one can of soda, so that's what we're converting from, is 300, or excuse me, 39.4 grams of sugar. So now if we stopped here, that would tell us how many grams of sugar we had in six cans. Well, we don't want that. We want to find out how many pounds of sugar. So we can now use our other conversion factor where we have one pound is 453.6 grams. So now we go ahead and see, as we're going through dimensional analysis, we want our units to cancel out. So we have the cans of soda cancel out, the grams cancel out, and we're left with our desired unit of pounds. And so we would find, after we plug this into our calculator, that this is going to be equal to 0.521 pounds of sugar. So maybe that gives us a second thought as we go to pick up a can of soda, that if we drink sec six of these, we're going to end up drinking, consuming over a half a pound of sugar. So hopefully this gave us an introduction to our dimensional analysis, how we're going to apply this, and we're going to look at some more difficult um, questions and problems dealing with dimensional analysis in class. So I hope to see you then.